What is in her little bag of tricks? Watch and find out. What's up, you spooky witches? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have some spooky fun. We're gonna get ready for trick-or-treaters. So every year I try to outdo myself when it comes to the treats that I give to the little trick-or-treaters and the big trick-or-treaters and everyone in between. Sometimes I get really little ones and I just wanna squish them. Is that normal? Last year I did some pretty fun little bags made out of paper that I had gotten from Hallmark. So I wanted to try something different this year. So I went on Amazon and searched around and I found these little burlap treat bags that are just perfect sized for what I want to do. I'm going to absolutely cram them full with bullshit to give to the kids and my house will be legendary. <sighs> Should I be speaking in a spooky witch voice? Nah, I don't have time for that. So the bags that came from Amazon were in this shrink-wrapped baggie here, and there's multiple different ones. We've got white, black, orange, they all have different faces, They're pretty neat, I'm a fan, but I, I kind of went with the little bags this year. So last year I used like pretty good sized lunch bag sized bags and I filled them up with a bunch of junk like candy, I put like full size candy bar in there and like a bunch of little things and some toys and favors and stuff like that. Some kids had these teeny tiny little pails and they they fit very little in them so I just had to hand them the bag and then they had to carry them around. So I'm trying to go for something that can actually fit in their little trick-or-treat pails. I don't know. We'll see. Also these are going to be kind of for some of the bigger kids. We're going to get some just straight candy to give to the little, little kids because there's going to be some choking hazardous stuff. And, you know, we don't want the little kids to choke. Talk of little children choking is just a little much, even for me. So let's, let's move on here. So I'll just go over the stuff that I got in the treat bags and tell you where I got them from. First thing I got was from Oriental Trading Company. I saw the advertisements for it last year. I waited too long, they sold out, and I told myself I would not let that happen again. So I bought them this year. They are orange and black Halloween fortune cookies. And inside each one is a Halloween fortune. It's gonna be great. I didn't bring scissors. They're individually wrapped. They're on the small side, which is good because we want them to be able to fit in the bags with everything else. There are 50 of them in a bag, which is great. I have 48 little treat bags and a lot of the other stuff that I bought adds up to about 48. So I'm gonna make 48 bags. Yes, that's the goal. I usually get around 50 kids to my house, so, you know, if some of them just get straight candy because they're little, I think I'm gonna have enough bags for everyone, so yay! We'll put that in a pile over here. So, usually we do full-size candy bars, but shrinkflation inflation has made it, like, really hard to be able to to buy a lot of candy that's full size for a decent price. So I decided not to go with the full size candy bars, but I did kind of splurge on these. I bought two cases of Pop Rocks. I, I'm not sure exactly how much I spent on them, but I ordered them from like this place called Snack Shop, 
and they had the best price. They had a lot of other candy and stuff, but they weren't like anything I really wanted to get, so... The bag of Pop Rocks will perfectly fit inside this bag. At least that is the hope. We'll find out. I'm gonna put those over here. So more Oriental Trading Company stuff. I could not, would not resist these. It is a bag of zombie bee erasers. Let's see if I can open them. I like this one, he's sick. You see what I mean about the choking hazard? They look so delicious, I just want to put one in my mouth right now. Chew it up real good. So the next thing I got came from Oriental Trading Company. Usually I get it from Target, or get them from Target, but this year I made a big giant order from Oriental Trading Company, so I got these from there. They are mini slimes. It say pumpkin guts on the lid. Hopefully nobody tries to eat them, and if they do, they have a big surprise waiting for them. It's gonna be a yucky surprise. I usually hand these little slimes out, and I usually get them from Target. Uh, I have a couple that I got from Target last year left over in my Halloween junk. Uh, they're a little bit bigger, if you look. So the better value might have been at Target, but I, I, I really like the ones that say Pumpkin Guts on them. I thought that was fun. Once again, this is a pack of 48. I will have exactly enough. The next thing that I got came from Amazon, and it took me a little bit of searching to be able to find just the right one. I had gotten similar products from Target in the past, but never quite like these ones. They're little bottles of bubbles. Little tiny bottles of bubbles. And they have little jack-o'-lantern faces on them. And they're, they're very cute. You can, you can drink them, they'll taste like shit. So little kids do not drink them. Let's see if I could get that open. Wow. The other thing that I got, and you'll see that in my first spooky video that I did for Halloween this year, is this bag of spiders. So this is gonna be a trick inside the treat. Hopefully it scares the shit out of one kid. If it does, I've done my job. Now these here are the crowning jewel of the treat bags. I got these from Archie McPhee. I get them every year and I spend too much money on them because they're the nice ones. The terrifying finger monsters. These are really great and they're painted very nice. You can get some cheap ones off of Oriental Trading Company. I had thought about it and I really went back and forth about it and decided in the end that I wanted to get the better ones. So I got the better ones. A case like this will cost you about 60 bucks, just, just to warn you. The ones from Oriental Trading Company are much cheaper, but they do not have a good paint job, whereas these have a really nice paint job. I've also got some candy to go in the bags and into my stomach. These all came from Oriental Trading Company. They were a fairly good price, I think, so I am happy with the purchase. Because I am a sadist, I got a big-ass bag of Warheads. So that's going to go in there and possibly give some kid a very bad time. I also got some Sixlets because Sixlets are the superior candy coated chocolate candy. Fight me. They're better than anything. They're better than M&M's. They're better than Smarties. Sixlets are where it's at, man. And there's enough in here that there will be some leftover that I can have because that's what Halloween is all about. Eating candy and talking to the dead. Am I right, witches? Yeah. Last thing that I got for the bags are these Sour Punch Straws because we get Sour Punch Straws 
every single year to put in the treat bags and it, it never gets old. I like to eat them. I am going to try to assemble one of these treat bags and it's going to be very, very interesting. Mm, that smells delicious. Okay, so there's 85 pieces in the Sour Punch straws, so there will not be enough to put two in each. So I'm just going to put one, and then the rest will be for us and trick-or-treaters that don't get treat bags. There's 151 pieces in the sixlets, so I'm going to put two in each one. Oh, it says... That there's no peanuts, no gluten, no tree nuts, no eggs, no fish, and no shellfish. Good thing there's no shellfish in my chocolate. Why is this so hard? I've got a knife. That is not how I wanted them to open at all, but here we are. Now the warheads are 50 calories a serving. It says there's 44 servings for container. I want some left over, so maybe I'll put three in a bag. Fun. Okay, so I've got all my bullshit lined up here. Let's let's make a treat bag. We'll start with this one. So it needs one Pop Rocks. They weren't a vacuum sealed bag, so they're kind of stuck together. So I'm going to slide the Pop Rocks down the back and hopefully everything else will fit inside. So I've got a bubble, I've got a slime, I've got two bees, I've got a fortune cookie, and a finger monster, three warheads, two sixlets, and the sour punch straw. And let's not forget a spider. So the goal is to fit all of these into this and this. So when I was in kindergarten, we learned that when you're putting stuff in a box, you should always put the big stuff in first and then the little stuff in there. And that has stayed with me, Mrs. Wagner. I was singing to myself in kindergarten, and she came up to me and said, It's nice to have a song in your heart, but we don't all need to hear it. What a bitch! I'm going to start with the fortune cookie and try not to crush it. And then next to it, I'm going to slide in the pumpkin guts. And then we'll put a finger monster in there. And a bubbles. We'll slide in some sour punch straws. And a couple sixlets. I'm going to take out the finger monster and put in some warheads. Now I'm going to put the finger monster back in. And put my erasers. And my little spider. So I'm gonna make it so when you open the bag, the little finger monster's looking at you. Let's see if I can get that to shut. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it worked. That's beautiful. There's so much shit in this little bag. And I'm going to give these out. It's going to be marvelous. Let's pick my nose. Let's make another one. Gotta make sure that the that the bees are two different ones that you don't want them to match. Taste the explosion. tentacles poking out of there. Just put that back in. Let's do a black one now. Got my bag, got my finger monster, my bees, fortune cookie, my slime, my bubbles, three warheads, a sour straw, and two sixlets. So my house is not all decorated. In fact, I have a lot of stuff kind of dragged out around my house. I would very much so like to make another video where I show you my decorations, but as, as of right now, my house is in no shape to be sharing with the general public, and there are a lot more people that watch these videos than just my friends. So. 
They're all different, but they they have fun things inside of them. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these, and um, I guess I will see you at the end of this. And here they are! I made a whole bunch of them, and they were very fun to put together. That's what it was. Fun. And labor-intensive. Labor-intensive fun. Yes, it's like, it's like going to work, but not getting paid for it. Woo! I've got many, 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 many more to fill besides just what I've got going on here. But I'm not going to do that for you today. I'm going to do that at some other time, probably later tonight. I'm going to include a link in the description to some of the items that I put in here, including the finger monsters and the grab bags. So... You should get those if you want them. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It's a lot of work, you guys. So like and subscribe! Anyway, are you handing out treat bags this Halloween? If so, let me know what you're putting in them. Leave me some stuff down in the comments. Do you get trick-or-treaters at your house? Do you wish you got trick-or-treaters in your house? Do you wish to eat the bones of children and hide in your bog all Halloween? That's not something that anybody does. At least I hope not. I hope to at least squeak out one more Halloween video before the end of the month, so we will see you then. Bye bye